How many times have you popped off or been disrespectful towards your wife or one of your kids when they were just looking for your attention because you were stressed out? Happens all the time, right? It's hard to control those emotions. And part of that reason is because you're just reflecting how you feel on the inside towards the people around you. And so the idea, the concept for tonight's Iron Forge coaching is, is I want to kind of take that to the next level and understand that the psychology behind that and realize that most of the time it's not fucking personal. When someone's rude, when someone's disrespectful to you, when they're acting a certain way, yeah, sure. That doesn't mean it's accept acceptable and you should tolerate it, but understand that it's not you, it's them the reason they're acting that way. They're choosing to show up in that space and do that. And so if you can separate yourself from your ego and not feel threatened, like you have to retaliate when people behave that way, what does that do for you? It puts you into a position. It puts you into a place of power because now your internal state and how you show up in the world can no longer be influenced by someone else and their feelings. And so for those of you, and we've talked about this on past podcasts and Iron Forge calls, right? Like people who struggle with their temper or struggle with lashing out or saying things that they don't mean or treating their people that they care about the way that they deserve to be treated because they're dealing with certain emotions. What you're doing by failing to control your emotions and in turn failing to control your behavior and how you show up in the world is you are effectively saying that those external things in your life have more power over your actions and your behavior than you do, right? And if you tell the world that you can be controlled through your emotions, what do you think the world is going to do? They're going to manipulate you with those emotions, right? That's the hard truth. And so I want you guys to kind of place that into perspective and understand that it's incredibly imperatively important as a man that you separate yourself from your ego and realize that you don't have to make people feel the way that they made you feel. Like that can stop with you. How do you expect your wife to respect you or your kids to respect you or your boss to respect you or your employees to respect you or anyone around you to respect you if they know that they can just manipulate you with your feelings or your emotions? They're not gonna respect your boundaries. They're going to they're gonna manipulate you. They're going to take advantage of you. They're going to walk all over you. And they're never going to respect you because you don't respect yourself and you don't have that degree of self-control and discipline in your actions. Part of stoicism and standing in that place as a, a strong leader and being a man means that you have to have the self-discipline and self-mastery to separate your actions from your emotions. And what are emotions triggered by? Thoughts. When I feel sad, why do I feel sad? Because of sad thoughts. When I feel mad, why do I feel mad? Because of mad thoughts. Most of the time, those emotions are coming from what? The things that are occurring around us, right? So your emotions are just a translation to the physical world's effect on you in your life and your thoughts and your emotions come from how you choose to perceive that world around you. This is actually what most martial arts is about, is learning how to control your emotions and use those emotions as a fuel to drive positive action and energy in your life. That's literally what it is. That's why it's so important to practice that type of martial arts because it teaches you to not be reactive to the space around you and the world around you, but that instead choose to respond. Okay. So I can respond to pressure. I can respond to stress. I can respond to anger and frustration and a lot of these physically arousing emotions that a lot of times men struggle with managing because I've been taught through practice that those things don't have to control my actions my behavior, my choices. So ultimately, at the end of the day, your emotions, yes, they are a choice, but I don't necessarily have to allow those things to dictate my reality if I have the ability to do one thing, which is separate my actions from those feelings. 